10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have to go from ready to start, 2, 1, zero. booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Houston, Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up, now 1 minute 10 seconds in the flight. Endeavour flying at 1800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed 4.5 million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Endeavour performance is as expected thus far. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Endeavour Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. Copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. And the external tank has separated now. 